that's it. All right. So today we're going to keep talking about energy. Let's see. Last time, let's think. Let's do big picture of what we talked about last time. We talked about kinetic energy, the energy of motion. We call it K, one half mv squared. Some point mass moving along one half mv squared, or it could be rotating. We do a little bit on rotations because this is an advanced university here, so there's a little bit in there. So that was kinetic energy. That was wonderful. And we also talked about another kind of energy, uh, potential energy. We talked about that one, and we said it was U, gravitational, is mg, and you can write delta y or you can write y. It just depends on whether you agree on where zero is. Right? If we all agree zero is somewhere, you can call it mgy. But if you want to play it safe, you call it mg delta y. All right, so we talked about this one. But then the one in between was work, and I'm just drawing this little, uh, little whatever this is, this diagram to remind you that work is not a type of energy. Work is a mechanism to transfer between types of energy. So work, remember the general version, was this horrible integral, right? From one position to another position, it's just the force times the distance. If you push something a certain distance for a certain force, the work you do on it is an external force is just F times D. The only tricky part is the force might be changing, so you have to do an integral, or the force in the displacement might not be the same direction, so you have to do a dot product. Okay, so there's little tricky parts there, but in general it's just F times D. And we'll talk more about the dot product today. Okay, okay so that was really last time. That was everything we did, pretty much.